Hey folks, um, hey guys, uh, just thinking today a little bit and uh, wanted to answer the question about carving. Uh, is it a good career? And in thinking about this, I can't help but like return to my early childhood and you know into into my my tween age uh, age 12 and uh, deciding that I wanted to start carving and I realized that part of this whole story is a large degree of naivete right I I had no clue if I could make a living in carving but I still had the kind of ability to look past that, right? I was a kid. I wasn't particularly career-oriented. And that actually helped me in a way. But the question is, um, for those of us who are maybe a little older trying to start into carving, maybe, I don't know, as a side hustle or just maybe something that you love that you want to pursue, um, is it a good career choice is kind of the question. Um, well, number one, you know, the last few weeks I've just been thinking a lot about kind of the downsides of carving and, and some of the parts of carving that I love, and I just thought maybe I'd go through those. So, firstly, we'll start with the cons. Carving is, uh, it can be really physically intense. Uh, I've been doing a lot more chainsaw carving in the last few months and it's uh, so labor intensive. It's like to, to do a good job carving uh, a large scale piece, you have to hold a chainsaw and, and articulate it with really small movements. And and it's such a big, powerful thing. It just wears you out after a few hours. So it's a physical job. It's, it's definitely physically taxing. Um, running a chainsaw, if you're doing anything in the large scale at all, you're gonna be running big power tools, you're gonna to be making a lot of dust, which leads me to my next big downside. Um, you know, I've got problems with my lungs. Part of that is uh, from getting uh, COVID and having uh, long-term symptoms. But, uh, you know, part of that probably has to be that that was a weak point for me uh, because of the dust. So, there are ways of mitigating that risk of lung issues, you know, wearing a dust mask uh, when you're making dust with power tools or even sanding with hand tools and where and having good dust um, collection in your shop or space. But, you know, really the, the issue of it being hard work and sometimes messy work is unavoidable. You can't really you can't really avoid the, the, the nature of carving. It's just a dirty thing. So there's that. Uh, as far as other downsides go, those are the main ones. Uh, when you're starting out, of course, it's, it's hard to figure out how to make a living. And you're not making Boku bucks early on, you know? I, uh, I think it's probably true for most careers where you're not probably getting wealthy off of the career right as you start, you know? You have to kind of get your tenure or whatever or you know establish yourself in that career so that's huge is is just like sticking with it you have to have a certain level of grit you know and, and there is sometimes a a sort of love of the grind of it too maybe you know every once in a while i've just felt like you just kind of have to get up when you don't feel like it and make art it's not all about just making art when you feel like it but the beautiful thing about that is when you commit yourself to doing it you actually truly you really enjoy what you do when you prove to yourself number one that you can do something that you don't want to do you realize um if it's for your greater good in the end you know uh you're bettering yourself and life becomes fun you know even even that thing that you didn't want to do that you know you should do becomes like a treat like carving to me now um, it feels like a treat. I, I, I mean that in total honesty. Um, I'm in a really good spot right now. Um, but you know, maybe in the dead of winter, it's cold, I'm tired. 
I don't know, not enough sunlight exposure out here in Michigan. Maybe I'm sad, you know, and I'm feeling like I chose the wrong career and maybe the bank account isn't looking so padded or whatever, but because I just spent a bunch of money on something or something that I needed for work, you know, in other words, it's an up and down thing. Like there are times where you will be like in, totally engaged with what you're doing and loving it like I am right now. Um, but there are also times uh, that carving can be kind of a, a downer, right? Especially if you're a social person, which leads me to one of the biggest downsides most people don't think about when they choose a career in the arts. It doesn't have to be this way, especially if you teach, but you need to spend a lot of time alone. Alone with yourself, alone in your shop making stuff. It's challenging. If you're going to do art for a living, you need to spend tons and tons of time making stuff and learning from those mistakes. And a lot of that's gonna be you and your podcasts and your, you know, whatever music you have. Um, that stuff is what's gonna keep you company. Um, if you have a, a family member who pops in every once in a while or you can go inside and take a break and talk to somebody on the phone, that's what I do. But it is a lonely job. Um, and it can be really, uh, can be isolating at times. So I didn't really think about that when I was a kid because frankly, I wasn't social enough to even really care. I didn't want to be with people when I was a kid. Now I love, I love being with people. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, but I don't, I don't get that time when I'm working. I'm, I'm focused, right? So, all right, to the, to the pros. I'm sure I could think of more cons, but those are the biggest ones. Um, the pros are definitely many in carving. Um, I'll say the first one is it's very fulfilling. Um, and it's not necessarily like getting paid or getting awards or anything like that. It's just like when you make something um, and you and you finish it, and even if it's not perfect, but you like it, there's something that's so rewarding about making something that's beautiful that you like. Uh, it's just, there's nothing like it. So that's a huge upside. Um, another thing is, uh, you know, once you, once you finally do get paid for doing something that you enjoy, that even double down, that will double down the fun that you experience when you make something, that satisfaction of making something. It's not like you're chasing money, right? Because we all start in the arts because we enjoy them, right? No one starts in the arts to make money. It's not like, uh, of like the ultimate lucrative position. It's not like, you know, you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, but when you sell something, doing what you love, it feels like you just discovered like a video game cheat code. Like you just solved a riddle to um, like, a, like a part of a game that you haven't been able to solve. It's so great to sell stuff um, and enjoy it. It feels like you're almost tricking yourself every single time or tricking somebody or maybe you feel guilty almost. That's actually a pretty normal feeling for artists because it's not normal in this world, which is unfortunate that we do something that we enjoy and we get paid for it. Now, do you feel that way every time you sell something? No. You know, like I said, there's long, hard days out in the sun, you know, with a chainsaw and you're not enjoying yourself and you're tired and you're faint and, and you're feeling ill from all the dust and, and you're maybe not getting paid enough because you didn't bill enough. Um, you know, that's very real too. So it's not always rainbows and butterflies. Someone out there is misbehaving. Um, so there's that. Um, other pros, uh, it's, it's definitely, um, really great to, 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 to do the arts because in a, in a social setting, like when you do bring that art that you've worked hard alone, uh, you, if you're a social person, you'll enjoy showing your art that much more because, uh, it's when the art, it's kind of like when the rubber meets the road, you know, it's like building a car that never gets to see the road. That's not, that's not any good. And so when you, when you make a piece of artwork and it finally goes into an installation or goes into like, uh, like a show and, and hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of people get to see it and appreciate it and they do appreciate it. I mean, that is another level of excitement too. So, uh, hugely fun, big, big fun. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I would say those are probably the main pros. Um, 
I could think of others. I could probably, as soon as I hang, you know, like stop this video, I'm sure I'll think of like four more pros. But those are kind of the main ones, you know, it's like really, it's, it's a fulfilling job. Um, I should say too, yeah, creative expression, like um, it can get into like the hoity-toity stuff, you know, and, and people can make it out to be more than it is. But there is something really powerful about control, um, about making stuff, cr being creative. Um, we can find creativity in anything that we do, right? Um, so it's not like making art is, or carvings or anything is like more creative than uh, anything else. But it is, um, it is, it is very fulfilling in that it is making something that wasn't there before out of absolutely nothing or, or just a blank piece of material, and uh, that feels really good. And that exercises a part of your brain that um, is more submissive than anything else in the sense of um, you're kind of like making when you're making something it's almost like you're submitting to a higher part of yourself or like a spiritual realm in fact I personally feel that there's something spiritual about carving um, about painting about making things artwork in general um, because you're you're actually kind of using skills that you you have and uh, developed but that at times you're not even conscious of um, using when you're using them and it almost feels uh, like you're transcending whatever it is that you're doing uh, when you're doing it so to me it feels almost like there's a, a third element there at times you know when you, maybe you put the the tool down you look at what you made and it seems like the sum of of, of the of the parts or cuts that you m made it, it shouldn't make that piece but it worked and you weren't even like awake almost for it right you just kind of woke up and then this piece of art was there. That is a special experience. So yeah, probably one of the biggest positives about carving. So yeah. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for listening. I mean, I could go on for hours about all the ins and outs of carving and uh, I won't, but if you have any questions, please feel free, comment below. Thank you guys.